increasingly a hub uh, for commercial transactions offline and, and uh, online and offline. 90% uh, of retail is actually still conducted uh, offline, uh, which to this audience might seem somewhat surprising. Uh, but uh, what might not be as surprising to you is that, uh, or maybe it is, that 40% of those, uh, of all purchases, including you know, a lot of those purchases offline, actually start uh, online. And so what it means is that you know, marketing departments uh, you know, around the world, certainly uh, here in Europe, are rethinking their strategies about how they connect with their customers. Uh, and yes, that results in a lot of pressure on traditional media. Uh, but it's really not, you know, you can't blame the internet, uh, but uh, you have to, to, to really understand that, that companies are, are going where the customers are uh, and using ways uh, to, go, to, to go after them. Now, th this process is going to intensify. Uh, the industry figures for the US, uh, for example, suggest that uh, a, a, a consumer spends 32% uh, of their time online, but uh, advertisers are only placing about 14% of their business online. So again, there's still, a, there's still a gap there, and you can certainly expect that gap to be closed. But you know, I think the, real in, in, the really interesting story is what's going on in the real economy, where SMEs, small, medium enterprises, size enterprises, are developing and selling all kinds of new products and services. You know, a, a couple of weeks ago, we, we actually announced, published some data uh, showing the kind of the impact of the, the Google uh, ecosystem on the U.S. economy, and by, you know, I think some fairly conservative measures uh, came to about $54 uh, billion. Uh, and much of this, you know, the, the vast, the, really the lion's share of that uh, is about small and medium businesses who are web publishers, who, who run ads, uh, small businesses who advertise on Google, really the, the long tail of businesses, so that's a, 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 a remarkable development that the web is, of course, facilitating. Thomas Jefferson uh, would be proud, who's uh, the champion of small business. Um, the next wave of innovation on the internet is going to bring a tremendous opportunity for society and the, the economy alike. But this opportunity will depend on maintaining the openness of the internet as a platform for innovation and for creativity. Openness, as everybody here knows, is at the heart of, of the internet. We like to think we have the, the father of openness at Google, Ben Cerf, who I know was here last year uh, and talked a lot about this uh, and uh, has a, a great view about it. But we, we really can't kid ourselves. Uh, you know, there, there are some big forces uh, that are aligned against the open internet. We have governments uh, who fear the free speech that's made possible by the internet and all the new tools uh, that it presents. China's only the most uh, prominent example, but there are many many others. And the commercial forces that uh, see proprietary as being the sole 